gentlemen, welcome to the weigh-ins for A-R-Y Warriors! Please welcome first onto the scales, Zohan Khan! 58 kilograms for Zohan! And his opponent, Rehan! Fifty-seven point five for Rehan! This with the big boys in the middleweight division, Sana! For Sanola and his opponent, Zulkarnan Handel! 2 for Big Zulk! This next bout is in the flyweight division. Please welcome first into the ring, Shezadu Saku! 55.25 for Shezadu! And her opponent fighting out of Gay 7 Galachi makes some noise for the Falcon Iman Khan! 55 for the Falcon! Next up, fighting out of the Bushiban Fighters Den, this is Amanullah Bode! Sixty point five for Amanullah! And his opponent fighting out of Brave Jim and out of Sisala! This is the Golden Boy! Adil! <laughs> 61 even for the Golden Boy! This next fight is a catchweight bout. Introducing first, fighting out of RFC, Sawat, make some noise for Heather Ali! <laughs> 70 kilos for Heather! And his opponent, fighting out of K7 Karachi, make some noise for slow poison. It's one. Come on. 71 for his one. Introducing first. Fighting out of Team Peshawar is Zat Khan! 55 for Zat Khan! And his opponent fighting out of Team Fight Fortress Islamabad. This is Hedder Farma! This next fight is your main event of the evening! Five rounds in the ARY Warriors middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of Team Red Dragon, Quetta, make some noise for Kudra! Two kilos even for Go! 
Sotras. His opponent, they call him the Afghan killer. He is Pakistan's best knockout artist today. He has fought in Brave CF. Ladies and gentlemen, Nacham the Brave Khan! Eighty one point five for the Brave. Gentlemen, welcome to ARY Warriors War! All fighters here tonight have been vaccinated. All SOPs here are currently being followed. I will be presenting to you the fighters for ARY Warriors 1. But before that, I would like to tell you what this great organization is. ARY Warriors promises to be Pakistan's biggest fighting spectacle. And by that, we mean the biggest fights, the best fighters, the most action, and most importantly, best quality mixed martial arts that you will see in Pakistan on the grandest stage with the biggest production live on Pakistan's best network, ARY. And without further ado, I would like to tell you about the vision of ARY, Salman Iqbal, and Brave Jim. All three entities look to bring mixed martial arts to the highest apex in the world. Through the tireless efforts of people like Salman Iqbal, like Omar Ahmed, we have come to a point where mixed martial arts can take center stage in front of the whole world, and we can show them all that Pakistan can fight. And without further ado, I would like to present to you now the fighters in ARY Warriors 1! And now I would like to introduce to the ring Governor Saab Chaudhry Sarva! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Governor Saab. Governor Saab, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence here at ARY Warriors 1. Now, you have met with the fighters. You have had a little bit of a conversation. How are you feeling in the cage? In the cage. In the cage. In the cage. In the cage. You know, after meeting these young boys and young ladies, I feel young myself. I have a lot of popular support. And I have met ARY, Brave Jim, and all of our fighters, I say good luck and I say good luck in Lahore. Thank you so much, Governor Saab. I'll ask you one more question, if you don't mind. Mixed martial arts is such a game that has spread in the whole world like a fire. Every place has rise in mixed martial arts. What do you think? Is there a future in Pakistan in this sport? ये बिल्कुल बात आपकी दुरुस्त है कि MMA is now fastest growing game in the world और मुझे ये young बच्चों की तरफ देखके महसूस होता है कि ये पाकिस्तान में दूसरे मुल्कों की निस्बत ज़्यादा फैलेगा और आज जो आप ये बच्चों में enthusiasm पैदा कर रहे हैं इन्शाल्लाह इससे हमारे बच्चों को और इस game में आने का मौका मिलेगा इन्शाल्लाह गवर्नर साहब once again, thank you so much for coming. Sports, Pakistan is an integral part of it. Inshallah, we will see sports in the future. And you, like the people who are here, who are supporting sports, will increase with your continued support. Inshallah. Thank you. My support is always with those people who are supporting sports in Pakistan. Suleiman Iqbal and Abdur Razak are our very good friends. And we are our very good friends. और मुझे इस बात का फखर है कि पिछले तीस सालों से मैं इस अदारे को अपना अदारा समझता हूं एंड दे आर डूइंग ए ग्रेट जॉब। लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन, लेट्स हेयर इट फॉर गवर्नर साहब, चौधरी सरवाल। 
Ladies and gentlemen, this first fight is in the ARY Warriors Strawweight Division. Introducing first to the cage, please welcome Issa Khan. Hermann is a father. I'm going to show you the power. 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 I'm going to show you Body language that he's ready to put on a really uh, great wrestling uh, clinic because he looks short and studded. Um, so can't wait to watch this fight. This is the opening fight, the first ever fight um, in the history of ARY Warriors, and this fight is going to be uh, one of the biggest fights I, I'd say uh, because he's fighting a, an elite level striker in Heather Ferman, and Isa Khan is. Amazing wrestler. I've seen his fights. I've watched his fights. The guy is really good on the ground. He's really slick with the takedowns. He's got explosive takedowns. He has some immense power in his takedowns. Uh, let's see what he does. Saying a little prayer right before entering the cage is a Khan. The first man of the night of the first fight is a Khan with a front roll enters the cage and his opponent. Please make some noise. For Heather Farman. My name is Heather Farman. I'm fighting for the Islamabad to fight the wrong, or I'm fighting for the Islamabad to represent the wrong. I will fight my opponent with Izzat Khan to fight for the world. This is a tough fight for you. Let's go to the fight. Heather Farman is a name that everyone in the Pakistan and mixed martial arts community is familiar of. Coming out of Team White Fortress, she is one of the top fighters of Team White Fortress. She presented Pakistan, the first ever fighter to fight on Brave Combat Federation's roster. Fought in Brave 2, Heather Farman meeting his coach at the Sham Kareem at a fight fortress. Heather Farman is, he, he, he is one of uh, the best strikers in the country and whenever it comes to putting a striking clinic, uh, Heather Farman is one to watch for. Uh, Heather Farman right here, making sure that he's all set and hyped to get inside the cage. Heather Farman has presented Pakistan and represented Pakistan on multiple uh, occasions internationally and he has won. He has, uh, he was the fight of the night winner in Brave CF2 um, and he won against Muhammad Atif, Muhammad Haq Atif in Brave CF9 in Bahrain. Uh, let us remind you, Muhammad Atif was fighting out of India. Heather Farman representing Pakistan dominated three rounds. And then Brave 17, he represented Pakistan again in Lahore against another Filipino opponent. Ladies and gentlemen, this first bout is three rounds in the ARY Warriors Strawweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, three inches tall. Weighed in at 55 kilos. Holding an MMA record of eight wins, three losses, no draws. Fighting out of 
Peshawar, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and representing Team Peshawar, Izzat Khan! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighed in at 55 kilos, holding an MMA record of 6 wins, 2 losses, no draws, fighting out of Islamabad and representing Team Fight Fortress. This is Hassan the Giant Barbar! Referee in charge of the ring, Ali Emerald. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to kick off the first ever fight of the first ever event of ARY Warriors. Everyone is hyped. Everyone is excited. Oh, man. Daniel. Mumi Bhai, this has to be undoubtedly one of the most important fights in the history of Pakistani MMA. Here's why. This is the biggest stage. These are the two best strawweights, in my opinion, currently residing in Pakistan, not active in an international organization. It's Heather Farman on your screen. Ali Ahmed, the referee, and here they go! Shout out to the OG uh, Ali Ahmed. The best Always ref in the business. The best referee in the business, no doubt. Oh, he's feeling out. What Each fight? other's fighting style. Oh, leg kick there is a Good con. Good leg kick right? Oh, head nice, kick. kick. Oh, and immediately there. Like immediately he goes for the takedown. He went for the takedown. That was excellent that setup was there, Louis. Explosive Lumi. takedown. The head of Amman successful to recover the guard, throwing some elbows from bottom position. I mean, that was that was a very good setup. He set up the leg kick there setup. with the head yeah. kick and then entered there right down with the takedown. And immediately this fight has started on Heather's back. That is the way fighters need to do it. You know, mm -hmm. mix it up low, high, and then go low again. That is exactly how it is supposed to be done. And, and Izzat Khan showing how it's done. Heather Furman, as we know, he's got, oh, look at he that. The triangle. Oh, look at that. He slams him, immediately goes for the leg lock. Heather Furman. Oh, Heather Furman might have a knee bar. Goes Heather for the honey hole. Have... Look, no, he doesn't. He gets on top. Oh, oh. another reversal from Izzat Khan. Is it Khan doing a good job here of ending up on top after these exchanges? But Heather Furman offensively attacking here from bottom position. This another is good. triangle. And another slam by Izzat Khan. Alumi, just to give the a third triangle. Viewers. Wow, this is crazy. Third. Are these slams hurting him, Alumi? Is this actually doing Beautiful damage? Beautiful transition to an arm bar. Coach Atisham screaming from the corner. I mean, I mean, he's trying to spike him at his head at this point, you can just tell. Look, Alumi, when you're Izzat Khan in this position, oh, nice up kick there. Nice up kick. When you're Izzat Khan second. going against one of the mm -hmm. most, I would say, obvious favorites in this card, yeah. a veteran Brave Seer, but look at him, Heather Furman is happy. He's, he's smiling here. The thing about Heather Furman is that he's a fighter. He fights everywhere, and he's not going to give up on anything. There we go. Oh. As I mentioned, he goes for the... Goes for a takedown and his land. He was, he was, he was in trouble for a split second where he was on the same side of the guillotine, but beautiful transition where he put his head out and just transitioned to mount. And this is what I want to see here. Is it Khan, the wrestler, coming into this fight, or at least he was considered now in bottom position? Can Heather out wrestle the wrestler? That's what I want to see here in this fight, and we're getting to finally see it. Let's see, because Heather Farman's using oh, his jutsu beautiful. really well. Neon belly to full mount. Isn't exactly. that right, Coach Lumi? That is exactly how it's done. Oh, here we you go. Know, with against a wrestler, the thing is, if you want to go against the wrestler on the ground, it is said that you use your jujitsu. Either your striking or your jujitsu. And that is exactly what Heather Farman did. Beautiful elbow from the clinch position. Is up on swimming. Part in the 10 second clock, there's still minutes left here. It's yes. a five minute fight. It's a professional bout, which is five minute bout. We have three rounds of five minute, ladies and gentlemen. Her professional, I'm a mixed martial arts key professional fight. Her mixed martial arts key professional fight, I repeat, 
पांच मिनट की होती है Nice head movement by Izzat Khan. Yeah, very nice head. Oh, and he lands Comes the over right. The wrestler's over right is good. He lands clean there. He has a bit of boxing experience as well, but at the same time, he he uses his wrestling a lot more than his boxing. Uh, his boxing is very underrated. Izzat Khan's boxing underrated, but here he shows that he has good hands. Oh, good strikes there. Exchange these fighters. Is it comfortable? Oh, oh nice jumping knee. But Heather Furman, of course, with a flying knee strike. <laughs> Excellently done there. Is it Khan now in a favorable position? How do you score this round, Alumi? What an interesting round this has been so far. It has been a really interesting round, and you can see, you can clearly see the damage, Ooh, the blood flowing out. Good jab. Another good jab. Oh, Beautiful look at that! Jumping back kick. Is it Khan tells him, "Let's go more." He asks for more. I love both of these guys mainly because of their attitude. Both of them don't care. Both of them are just here to fight. Oh yes. Keeping the jabs up, Haider Furman. Oh, head kick almost landed oh, yeah, there. Head kick, is it Khan's leg kicks and head kicks have been really impressive. Haider Furman, I think, is given that little bit of encouragement as well. Now we're at the 10-second mark at the end of the round. A nice, mm. powerful overhand right. And that, that is, the, is the first round. Both of the guys are so high, Daniel. Heather was more than happy to welcome a challenge. I think he has got it. Heather's very happy here. Share all of that. The, the guy needs to let him into the cage. And Here's he the deal, Daniel. Heather Furman loves to fight. We have seen in all his fight get charged up until he takes one or two punches to the head. This is his style to fight. But on the other hand, on the other hand, is a kindness bringing the fight to Heather Furman. He's scoring takedowns. He's scored multiple takedowns. He is. Landing good shots. He's landing head kicks. He's landing low kicks. What is going to be the strategy for both the guys? That is what we need to Look, see next. I'm not a judge, and that's for good reason. I'm a commentator. I'm a <laughs> suit. I'm sitting here. I've never been inside a gate. I'm a very comfortable guy. But if I'm looking at this fight at this round so far, yeah. if I'm being completely honest, Isad Khan just got one over the guy who signed a break for so many years, who's fought internationally, and that's a very True. good thing for True. Isad Khan. Multiple takedowns, good leg kicks, good punches, even the striking exchanges. But like you said, Heather Furman needs to be struck across the face to be woken up. And I am certain with Coach EK's corner talk as well, it is now time for him to wake up and do his thing. If Khan is not getting off the stool, I don't know why that yeah, is. That's where he, that's um, not professional. That is not professional out. on the fighter's part. Every fighter needs to get off of the stool. Every corner man needs to get out of the cage upon the 10 seconds mark, the, the 10 seconds clap. Ladies and gentlemen, ARY Warriors One Live from Packages Mall. Daniel Asamirza here joining me, Alumi Karim Shaheen, Pakistani MMA legend, and we are underway with the second round. Swinging his arm round and round, Ilhan Khan is clearly gained confidence. He did not look underconfident at all coming into this fight. It's just that this is shocking to say the least. Heather Furman, tentative. Oh, look at that. Nice on. jab, almost released. Pressing forward, bringing him to his own corner. Is it Khan? Nice, swift movement here with the with, with the feet. He throws a nice front kick as well. <laughs> Heather Furman and is it talking to each other? Oh, now? Yes. I love that. Another this one inside is for the leg taking. kick. Well, I wonder what Heather's looking for. Look at that. Is this just showboarding here? Is that is showboarding real well? Obviously, when you when you get such a such a nice round against a high-level guy, against such a well-decorated fighter, you will gain a lot of confidence. Yeah, but you don't uh, want to let that boil over get too exactly, much. Exactly, exactly. Like, at what point do you got to still realize this is Heather, the giant Furman here? Oh, oh a good one-two combination three. by Heather Furman. Oh, in again. Now he's gets caught by... Oh, oh that's nice a knee. knee! But that is not what you want to do against a wrestler sometimes, throw a knee. But that's good. Heather complaining about something here. Good elbow. Heather's complaining about him. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, a fight in between a fight. I've never seen that before, and I love it so much. Look at that, Heather, Heather smiling. Heather Furman complained oh, about good. Heather Furman complained about him grabbing the fence, and uh, and Izzat Khan probably complaining about something. That's a timeout. Ladies and gentlemen, let us tell you this happened in the heat of the moment. Fighters do tend to overreact, uh, which is not so professional once again. But then again, it's it is fight business. This happens, but. 
are fair enough. I mean, what we try to do our best is that these people don't exchange words with each other. Yeah. And Amadri doing a great job by, by calming down both the fighters. I mean, uh, he grabbed the fence, he cussed at him. I would say Izzat Khan is the more of the aggressors here. True. Uh, but not, not if you're on national television, of course. That is different. <laughs> Heather Furman now trying to cut off the corners of the cage here just to try to get Izzat in good range. Now, what Heather's doing is I don't think he's throwing as much volume as Izzat. He's not as active as Izzat. He's not moving as much as Izzat, not shucking and jiving as much. True. But what he's definitely doing, he is hitting the harder shots. Oh, oh, look at that. Heather Furman was looking for that. He was looking. He, he was, he, was trying, he tried to snipe Izzat Khan. That is what it looks like because he is chasing his prey and then he's attacking all of a sudden. Throwing two shots, landing, and then, oh, another, another overhand over right by Izzat Khan. There is Khan. The crowd thoroughly enjoying this fight, as you can tell. Ooh. Izzat Khan is showing a lot of damage on the face, whereas, Ooh, whereas Heather Furman is not jab. Edipherman looks like he's ready to defend all the overhand rights. Every single time Izzat Khan shows oh, it. Oh, look at right in front of us oh, here. Izzat right lands a nice left hook there at the end of that exchange. And now tries to throw a good front kick. Here's what this is a testament to, Alumi Bhai. What this is a testament to is how far Pakistani MMA has come. When I booked this fight and we announced it, people said, wow, this is going to be a very one-sided affair. But so far, it's a pretty competitive fight. And I think that's just a credit to how much, <laughs> how much Pakistani MMA has evolved. Heather <laughs> Fermando just burping in his face. Oh, yeah. That is beautiful stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, nice big overhand. Big cutting overhand one. right. Two overhand rights by a Khan. Oh, nice uptake by Ayla Furman. Looks like both the guys have taken a toll. It, they, they wind it out a little, but they're still exchanging. Oh, Heather Furman gets hit in the eye. Heather oh, is covering up. That Heather is Heather huge Furman for Heather Furman. This Heather might Furman. be an unprecedented turn of events where it's the like Heather Furman hurt in the right eye. Heather Furman is hurt. This is a fight to kick off the fight, oh, ladies yes. and gentlemen. This what is, an amazing contest. This is not what people have seen Heather Furman go through. He is in a big, big, big jeopardizing spot. This yeah. is really Ooh, difficult for Heather Furman. What is Heather seeing? Is he dazed? Is the Khan is just teeing off on at this point? It looks like it looks like Heather Furman is trying to cover and gain, regain his vision back. There we go. Oh, he goes for a takedown of his own. Beautiful takedown. That is a nice takedown, although. What I'm worried about is how hurt Heather is. You, can, you see, Daniel, this is what happens when, when fighters get punched in the eye. It's more, the, the, they're more worried about the eyesight rather than getting hurt. Because at this point, the adrenaline rush is so high that they don't worry about getting hurt. Heather seems like he's tired as well because he's throwing some, some slow shots. Heather and Izzat both clearly tired, both bloody. Clearly. What an excellent fight this is. Beautiful has been. fight. Oh, look at a that. Nice elbow. Good ground and pound by Heather Furman. Now, Heather has kind of turned the tides, I would say, although Izzat did hurt him quite clearly. But nonetheless, he got the takedown. He ended up on top of him. True, true. Team Fight Fortress ends this round. And that is the second round. Without a doubt, he, without a doubt, he ends the round on top. But then we have to see how the judges saw this one because Heather got punched in the eye. I think uh, he's complaining to Coach EKS about that. Yes. About getting punched in the eye, but it was a punch. It wasn't an eye poke. It's a cross corner late again. The drink side officials just checking. Gazi Karmani. Both guys in their corners. The third round is about to begin. What an interesting fight this has been so far for both Doctors these guys. Doctors trying their best to make Heather Furman feel comfortable in the eyes. This could undoubtedly be the biggest upset in the history of Pakistani MMA if Izzat Khan could get the victory here. This could be a biggest, one of the biggest upset in the history of mixed martial arts. According to me, I'm this is one-to-one one going into the third <laughs> round. But again, like I said, I'm in a suit, never fought. Judges know better, they will, or they don't sometimes. But judges will be scoring this contest. Ladies and gentlemen, the beauty, the beautiful sight in front of you is Packages Mall 
here inside ARY Warriors. Heather Furman with a war cry. His eye is a clear, is jeopardized. Oh, there is, that's the sportsman, that's the sportsman spirit we need to see. Two intense rounds, but after, even after that, both the fighters hug each other. Heather Furman smiling about something. Heather's eye really compromised, clearly the right eye. Oh, yes. Oh, nice. good leg Inside. kick and a leg, leg kick, kick returns. I think as long as you hit Heather Furman's limbs, you're fine. I mean, he's fine, but the eye is compromising here. The crowd really getting in on, on Izzat Khan's combination. As I had mentioned before, ladies and gentlemen, Izzat Khan's boxing was really underrated by today. Tonight, in fact, he's shown that his boxing is not to be underrated. Oh, look at that. Izzat Khan looking away from Heather. That's disrespectful. That's a little disrespectful. Heather, I mean, I understand the eye, uh, the eye being a little hurt, but he's been a little gun shy tonight, I would say. He's been waiting sure. for perhaps that big punch. I'm for not sure. sure what it is, but maybe, Heather definitely has been a little gun shy tonight. I think maybe Heather earned Heather earned respect of, uh, or maybe Heather, yeah, yeah, definitely. And and the thing is that he was hitting Izzet with some really good shots, but Izzet did not go down. Heather has hit some some big guys with these shots. They've, they've dropped, but Izzet did not drop. He was standing in his face. He was, head, he was working on his head movement. He was smiling at him, and he was fighting back. I think that is what uh, what what was a surprise to Heather Furman. Regardless, this has been a very, very good fight. I mean, the, the idea here, Illumi, was to start the night strong and end it strong. That's why I booked Heather first. And he's Definitely. given us exactly that. Him and Izzet have given us a fight for the ages. What a technical masterclass here inside the pack. This is mall. You are watching ARY Warriors 1 if you're just tuning in. Daniel Nasser Mirza here on the commentary desk with me, Pakistani mixed martial arts legend, Illumi Karim Shaheen. You are watching Heather Furman in the white and Izzat Khan in the black. Izzat Khan's boxing has really paid dividends tonight as he has busted up the eye of Heather Furman, which has compromised him up to this point. Well, it looks like Izzat Khan is throwing more volume and Heather Furman wants to be, wants to be really uh, efficient with his boxing and he's not throwing much. He's, he's being really, he has, he has that pinpoint accuracy, but he's not throwing volume. Uh, I, I really believe that Heather Furman needs to throw a little more to, to, to stop uh, Izzat Khan from throwing that, that volume because this is a lot to take and especially in the eyes of the judges uh, Izzat Khan is scoring even though his face is it looks like it's been compromised but he's still scoring and this is what you call a man who has absolutely nothing to lose that's Izzat Khan right now Heather Furman has quite a bit to lose here Izzat Khan is coming with absolutely oh, no pressure two and three. but Heather there catches him don't get me wrong, this can still be anyone's fight. What a beautiful nice takedown. Mount him up. And that's an excellent, excellent, necessary takedown. He needs to finish it here to secure the win. Mount position, controls his, nice controls elbow. his arm. And now a nice elbow, drops down his elbow. Throwing left elbows. Really nice punches dropping down. Oh, nice this elbow. This is the moment he needs to work. This is where he needs to try to look for the finish to get Izzat Khan out of there. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a very competitive fight. This has been a very competitive fight, more than we expected. In order for the outcome to remain close to what the favorite outcome was, Heather Furman needs to lay it on him. Izzat Khan is still fighting. Izzat Khan is a madman. Izzat Khan, is he intelligently Izzat defending Khan has, himself? Izzat Khan just spit his gum shield out. Uh, and he was throwing strikes from the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, let us tell you that when you th throw strikes from the bottom, it's not as effective as throwing from the top. Uh, so that, that is more like stalling. But we still have one minute and 10 seconds on the clock. One minute, 10 on the clock. These are hard strikes here. Really hard strikes. He's strike. hitting him on the ear. That is really smart work. Very efficient striking. Heather Furman might, might be able to get. Beautiful work. Might be able to get. We need a little bit of a zoom out on this angle. Yeah, there we go. Look Another at those elbow. elbows. Elbow. Look at those hard elbows. Nice shot. Izzat Khan Beautiful. is not responding. Beautiful cracking elbows, cracking oh, elbows. Oh, he's hitting it Beautiful hard here. Amount. Shots and shots and shots. Heather Furman needs this finish because we don't know what way the first round went. The second round went Izzat Khan's way because of that eye, uh, the, the shot in, in uh, the punch in the eye. If Heather Furman finishes this round on top, you never know. It could, it could go anyone's way. I mean, way. if you look at damage, way. it is clearly in favor of Heather Furman. If you look at rounds, it can be anyone's fight. But the third round, I mean, but you really need to guess who the third round goes to. This can be anyone's fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we will have with you the official decision right away. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Izzat Khan tried to bridge him off. Last 10 second clap. Izzat Khan tried to bridge Hazard Farman off. Hanging in there, real tough. Izzat Khan is showing heart. He's showing some real heart. There we go. That there is the go. fight, ladies and that gentlemen. Is. What a contest between these two warriors to open up ARY Warriors 1. Heather Furman, Izzat Khan, Alumi, I don't care what anybody has to say. There needs to be a rematch, I'm calling it now. Beautiful, beautiful show of sportsman spirit after the fight. Both the guys hugging each other out, paying respect to each other. This is what the sport of mixed martial arts is all about. After three hard rounds we go to the judges scorecards for a decision judge one scores it 30 28 judge two scores it 30 28 judge three scores it 29 27 for your winner by unanimous decision Heather the giant Ladies and gentlemen, as I had mentioned before, Heather was landing more, Heather was landing more strikes, even though Izzat Khan landed some good shots, but then again, we seem to have some problem with the decision. Izzat Khan is not happy with the decision. Heather Farman is not happy with the performance, but at the end of the night, it was one for the taking. It was a beautiful fight. Would you like to face Izzat Khan again, potentially? Yes, I would so much like to. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen, this second bout is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors Flyweight Division. Introducing first to the cage, fighting out of Red Dragon. Make some noise for Soheb Khan. My name is Zoheb Khan. Hello, Red Dragon Sports Academy, Kwaita se hai. Me aya hoon yaha fight karne ke liye. Or inshallah jeet kar hi jaunga. which was a professional fight, which was three rounds of five minutes. This one is going to be three rounds of three minutes. You need to realize that all these fighters, they put in all this effort just for this one moment. They live for this one moment. They bleed, they sweat for this one moment. Every single time a fighter makes this walk, they make sure they give in their 100%. It's not only about the 100%, it's more than that. Everything they do is online. Everything they do is at stakes. This is going to determine their future. Every single fight determines their future. And right now, Zaheb Khan wants to determine his future. These final minutes are what every fighter lives for. They dream about this moment. Every fighter dreams and breathes about this very moment. And his opponent makes some noise for Rehan Yuri! My name is Rehan Yuri. I'm a fighter from Chicago, Illinois. Seventh nationally All American. And then I've had some success in my last two fights as an amateur uh, in Pakistan. Recently, I've been fighting under Brave, and I'm excited to fight in ARY Warriors' biggest event in Pakistan. Coming out, walking out with a huge crowd support behind his back. Rahan Arif is an amazing wrestler. He's wrestled at high school. He's wrestled a lot. And this guy wants to be the best in the country. I had a chat with this kid at the day of the weigh-in, and this guy wants to be the best in the world. He has 
high expectations from himself and he works really hard, ladies and gentlemen. That is exactly what every mixed martial arts fighter in Pakistan does. They dream big, they live big, and they want to be the biggest name in the world. Rehan Rip hugging his coach, being really happy about stepping in the cage. For being our sponsors, helping us spread the sport and bringing it us, bringing us the best of the best media facilities. To broadcast it, show all you guys what mixed martial arts in Pakistan is all about. None other than ARY. Let us remind you that fighter safety is our top priority, ladies and gentlemen. You guys may feel like some things are a little extra, some things are a little less, but these guys are all professionals in here, and everybody wants to see a good fight, and, well, let's go. Let, let me hand it over to the man in the ring, in the cage, Daniel Almirza. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors Flyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 58 kilograms. He makes his MMA de debut fighting out of Quetta and representing Red Dragon. Let's hear it for Suhaib Khan! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, five inches tall, weighed in at 57.5 kilos. Hold it, an MMA record of two wins, no losses, no draws, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Lahore, Pakistan, representing Brave Jim, the Wolves, Rehan Yuri. Referee in charge of the ring, Ali Emmer. And here wow. we go, that ranked is number huge. six in the country, but he told me he's looking for the knockout here. He's also boxed in his amateur career, Good looking for that overhand. Head movement. Good head movement by Rehan Uliba, I'd say. Uh, I know how that feels when you have to uh, calm your nerves down. That is exactly the same case for me with Hedrick Ahmad, but a beautiful right hand landed by Zuhaib Khan. Beautiful scramble. This is what Rehan specialized in, a scramble, oh, yeah. a side oh, yeah. headlock by Zuhaib, but, let, but that's, that's, that's useless, I'd rather say. Look, man, I'm just going to keep it straight to you. If he tries to box with Zuhaib, he might just get the win, but it's going to be way harder than if he just wrestles with him. Zuhaib has a great boxing background, but in this territory, this is all Rehan Yurib. This is a, a, a fish out of water, so to speak, for Zuhaib Khan. That is what we can see right now, because Rehan has a beautiful side control right now. Um, Rehan, Rehan is pinning him down. Oh, beautiful transition to Mao. He just goes, beautiful. Oh, he postures up. There we go. This could be this could be a big trouble for, for Zuhaib because there's a beautiful position. Beautiful work on the body by Rehan. Look at that. Have you seen wrestling like that in Pak <laughs> MMA? I mean, it's beautiful. He's just look at how his legs are hooking under Zuhaib's legs. He's just on top of him. No worries at all. He he looks like this is his this is his element. This is his bread and butter. This guy's a division one wrestler. And this wrestling means this is the wrestling that, that we call Pahlwani or just like match wrestling. It's not any other wrestling that people think about. It's yeah. not commercial wrestling. This is the real deal. This is what you use in MMA. This is what this is what goes side by side to Kushti. Just don't call it fake. It's real, <laughs> real wrestling. Oh, That's definitely it is. It is. Mm. it is live entertainment. Oh my God, Rehan Yurib, yeah. the wolf, it, it has him in full mount. He's very happy. Rehan is really calm, that. you can see. He passes his hand underneath, more like a gift trap. Oh kind my of thing. god, he's hurting Zohaib here. Sorry to cut you off with these shots. Rehan is. Oh my god! Zohaib is coming up! Oh, that is all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen! Rehan, you read! Rehan, you read! Game's like this! Rehan gets the win! Get it, get it, get it! 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 Get
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ali Emmett has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Wolf Rehan Yuri! Rehan, that the game plan to come in here, take him down, get on top of him, and throw as many strikes as you can? Game plan was to come in, block some strikes, throw some strikes, and leave with a paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> you got the paycheck, you got the win. Is there anything else you want to say, Rehan? I want to thank Omar Bai for all the training and facilities that he's given me. Brave Jim, ARY Warriors for hosting this event. Ladies and gentlemen, Rehan! Yuri! Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the ARY Warriors Flyweight Division. Introducing first to the cage, please welcome Shazadi Saki! Pakistan. Because this is going to be one of its kind, a female mixed martial arts bout in Pakistan on such a huge platform, I cannot explain how I feel about this. This is real women empowerment. This is the true shape of giving the power to women, making them enable, giving them a place in such a sport which is which is considered to be male dominant. But this sport, in this sport, you can witness in Lahore, Pakistan. Broadcasted on ARY Digital Network. Brought to you by Brave Jim, ARY Warriors. The female, first ever female fight of the first ever event. ARY Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of its kind. Shazad is actually feeling the energy of her walkout song. Meeting all her coaches. Getting praise from her senior coaches. Thumbs up to all her fans and her friends rooting for her. You can see she's really happy. From the order, you can feel that this, this is not the first time this girl is fighting. Shazadi Sekhi has good experience in the world of traditional martial arts. She has played multiple events in traditional martial arts, but this is going to be different. Why? Because this is mixed martial arts. And this is where she has to show who she, who she really is. And this is where she will show that traditional martial artists are going to, they can and they will excel in this sport. When they start cross training, when they accept other sports, other martial arts in Pakistan, that is exactly what they need. That is exactly how they will go forward. Entering the cage with a nice power and a fist bump to the man of the yard, Daniel Nasser Mirza. And her opponent, let's make some noise for Iman Khan! Hi, my name is Iman Faisal Khan. I come from Karachi from K7 Kickboxing Academy. This is my MMA debut, and I'm proud to fight at ARY Warriors in the flyweight division. Shazadi Saki, I hope you're ready. Iman Khan, accompanied by her coaches, she trains and fights out of K7 Academy Karachi, showing 
that she's going to silence everyone. Iman Khan, she is really, really happy to fight in the cage because coming out of Karachi, a kickboxing academy who show that they can do and they can excel really well in a beautiful fashion. In this much loss in a beautiful fashion, ladies and gentlemen, Iman Khan is going to show, uh, to prove her medal tonight, she's going to show that she is better than Shazadi. Well, only time can tell. That is exactly why these two girls are in here. A huge support from all the crowd in Lahore. To their guest from Karachi. Our cut man making sure the nails are trimmed because we do not want any unnecessary scratches or any unnecessary damage. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ARY Warriors. And Daniel Ladies Sanderson. and gentlemen, this next bout is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors Flyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. She stands five feet, four inches tall. Weighed in at 55 and a quarter kilos. She makes her MMA debut fighting out of Danyor Gilgit representing Brave Jim and Team RFC. Make some noise for Shazadi Zaki. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, five inches tall. Weighed in at 55 kilos. She makes her MMA debut. Fighting out of Karachi and representing K7 Karachi. Iman the Falcon. <laughs> Referee in charge of the cage, Ali Ahmad. Club brought to you by On The Mic. <laughs> no, it really is. Oh, great. Leg kick. Almost landed there. Saki has an awkward boosting stance. Iman, more conventional kickboxing. We can just tell right off the bat. Saki is dropping her hands with every feint of Iman. You can see that. I don't know how that is supposed to be, but that, I, in my opinion, that is not a very good thing. That's not a very good sign, because if the coaches of Iman, tell her to throw that one head kick. It could, it could turn. Wow, nice right hand. Right when I was saying that, nice right hand. Beautiful exchange by these girls. Mm. Iman hits hard, that's for sure. That we've been, that we well documented. It's only a matter of how long oh. it's gonna take her to get her in a rhythm. Saki though, she is constantly just pressurizing her. Look, Shazazi Saki, I'm gonna be completely honest, took this fight on a shorter notice. Mm -hmm. She is the girl coming in who's not taught to be the person who could potentially win. But, but but here's what fighting is. When the brightest lights are there, anyone can win, anyone can lose, and that is why fighting is beautiful. It is beautiful. Plus, the best part about this fight is that both of these girls are having their debut in mixed martial art on the platform of ARY Warriors. And this does not look like this is their debut in the fight. It looks like they, they're really calculated. They know their range. They're keeping their range. Shazadi is moving really well, and Iman is cutting corners. Oh, look at that. Beautiful right. Oh, beautiful left hand. That's him. That's him to rock. Saki. Saki's taking shots. Referee Ali Ahmad is taking a close look. Another right hand. Saki's dropping guard. Iman looks like she's about to go hunting. Ali Ahmad, our referee, the best in the country. He's taking a really close look. Really close look at this fight. Shazadi seems to have recovered a little bit. Both, like you said, do not look like they're making their debut. That's because Saki, a, a de decorated collegiate <laughs> striker. True. Iman, she has competed. She's trained with some of the best in the country. Definitely. And Iman is not, and Iman was nodding her head to her corner and saying, yes, I'm going to throw that. <laughs> that is something. And charging forward. Also, the one time where like the man who's mainly trained her, she is in very good hands. You can tell. Okay, look Definitely. Beautiful clinch work. Nice knee, beautiful knee to the body. Two knees by Iman. Beautiful display of tight clinch right here. Both the Chandio brothers 
They are really well decorated strikers. How they cannot do that, can you? The man seems to Marcy to land a really good shot when she's throwing a hand. But she's doing a great job by mixing it up and, and making Saki think about that body kick. Saki is thinking about the body kick, dropping her hand, and Iman is lighting her up. Oh, there was her hand right. As she was entering, we look, the 10 look. second mark here. We're about to hear the end of the round, three minute round here. That is the horn. They go to their corners. Alumi, what did you think of that? that Man, I, I think this is. This is a one-sided round for, for now. I mean, I could be wrong, I could be right, but then again, uh, Iman Khan, <laughs> Iman wiping the sweat off of her gloves and she has that confidence. She knows she is one round ahead. The corner of uh, Shazadi Saki telling her that she needs to pressure, pre press more, she needs to use more hands. You can see Coach Morema there, the man, the brains behind this event, this beautiful event, and the coach at Brave Gym as well. a tiny bump under her right eye. Yes, that was one of the left hooks or the jabs. It could be one of the jabs or the left hook. Oh, beautiful right uh, high kick. Iman comes on aggressive. Of course, the head kick now she's flinching it up. And I'm complaining that he's trying to hit her hand in the hand. Oh, look at that. Iman is throwing some really nice uppercuts in that clinch. Really nice dirty boxing by all the girls. And beautiful. The in, in Muay Thai, you call this a Liam. This is a trip. This is a... Like, I mean, sorry, like, yeah, please. Both strikers by their background, but now Iman Khan Transition. showing us a good grappling game by ending up on top now. Right now, Iman needs to frame off of Saki's face, posture up and strike. This is what a lot of people do. Uh, this is the mistake that a lot of people make when they're fighting the amateur circuit, that they keep their heads low and they want to strike. You have no space to strike when you have your heads low. You want to keep the pressure, but then again, you want to keep your head high to drop bombs and punches. And that is exactly what Iman says. Iman did that. Maybe she heard me. Maybe her corners heard me. She's out there doing what's wrong. Maybe could Beautiful transition. The crowd getting in there. What a night this has been. The first fight, three incredible rounds. You want to shot for the school. Hot and we did. Heather Vermont putting on a clinic. When you saw their harm, you need to get in that soft moon. Beautiful. They, oh, nice right. A thudding right hand. And the crowd reacts to that. But what I'm surprised at is that Iman is throwing these bombs of punches and Shazadi is taking those shots and moving forward. This is the heart and grit of these fighters. This is the heart and the courage of Pakistan and mixed martial arts fighters. And you know what? And I'm going to say it right now. These girls are making their MMA debut against each other. And now they're takedown. Have the potential of ending up meeting each other again at some international organization many years from now because they both have the word superstar written all over them. Oh, yes. Going for the RNC. Puts the hex in. She doesn't have the head at an early top. She gets the top. Iman Khan with the win. And there the machine goes. The machine gun comes out. The snipe comes out. The sniper. Iman gives the feet and she gets it done in the second round. My God, what a win. This was so amazing to watch. These girls showing that mixed martial arts that has been taught to them by their gyms. A lot of people think that mixed martial arts has not progressed in Pakistan. Well, guess what? This is what it's all about. This is how mixed martial arts is going. This is exactly what we're supposed to do. This is exactly how we are supposed to grow. Imam Khan showing how it's done in the second round. She landed some good shots, took Shazadi on the ground. Shazadi is still in her corner. She looks like she has her spirits high. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ali Ahmed has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 10 seconds of the very second round, declaring the winner by submission by a rear naked choke. This is the Falcon! Iman, people have been waiting for you to make your debut in MMA. Here we are in the biggest possible stage. How are you feeling right now? Uh, same thing I said last night. Cool as ever. 
You were cool and relaxed in there. You were so composed. You got the job done. Did anything she hit you with hurt you at all or worry you at all during this fight? Um, Alhamdulillah, if you've seen my coach, Rizwan Saab, who's fighting soon after this, you'll understand why all of this is possible. I've been hit so much <laughs> everywhere that nothing can faze me. Iman Khan! Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is in the ARY Warriors middleweight division. And welcome first to the cage. Sana Ullah Khan! My name is Sana Ullah Khan. My name is Sana Ullah Sports Academy. Inshallah, I will win. Dragon fighter Sana Ullah Khan, accompanied by the man who had the opening bout. ARY Warriors is up front. And we can see that the Red Dragon guys have decent wrestling and they have really decent boxing as well. Um, I wonder what Sanaullah Khan has to offer for Zulkar and what he has to bring in the ARY Warriors cage tonight. Since this is an amateur bout, it is going to be three rounds, three minutes, uh, action packed, and Man, I am so excited. This is one of the events in Pakistan that I was looking forward to because the moment I heard about ARY Warriors, I wanted to be on the commentating desk, if not one of the officials. Because I personally believe if you're not fighting, being a ref or being a judge is the most difficult and one of the most, for me personally, boring tasks. But then again, this is what, this is how everything comes together. Every person plays their part. You can see. Asad Khan on our screens, putting Vaseline on all our fighters' faces, making sure none of them suffer a big injury, none of them get cut, making sure that he checks all their safety equipment, their gloves, their hand wraps, their gum shields, their growing cups, and even their nails. This is how things are done. Each and every single person, big or small, their role, every single person matters. Please welcome to the cage, Zulkarnay My name is Zulkanan. I am an international boxer and I have played many matches in boxing. I am a national international. My opponent is going to win the first round. Zulkanan is a very good fan. I am a very good fan. The entire Brave Gym is here. Behind Zulkanan, Coach Umar. He is behind Zulkarnan as well. He is the man who has been helping Zulkarnan out with the fight camp. Everyone is so hyped for Zulkarnan. Zulkarnan is a really, really impressive boxer, I would say. I am really impressed by his boxing. Coach Umar Ahmed making sure that his one of his top prospects has a gum shield in with a smile on the face. That is the confidence that every coach needs to have in their fighter and every coach has in their fighter. Having a war cry as an entrance track. My man, this is the time to shine and dance under this, these bright lights. Now is the time to show what's up. This is the time to shine. Look at that with a bow, showing his respect to the cage, enters the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, on the mic, Daniel Nasser Mirza. This next bout is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet tall, weighed in at 80 kilos and makes his MMA debut. Fighting out of Quetta and representing Red Dragon, this is Sanaullah Khan. And his opponent, 
Fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 80 kilos even. He makes his MMA debut. Fighting out of Lahore and representing Brave Jim. This is Sultanet Hatter. Ali Ahmed on your screen. We are about to begin right away. I have the best broadcast partner possible in the country right now, Lumi Karim. Here we go. Oh. Beautiful entry. First shot. He's First made the shot. read, I believe. Oh, beautiful left hook. That, that seemed to have hurt him. Nice outside trip. Nice trip by Zulkarnan. Zulkarnan immediately on his back. That's not where he wants to be. We've seen one potential upset, Zulkar Nan. So now Allah's holding in such a position where a lot of people think it's a good position, but this is a really bad position because you're basically pulling a guy on top of you. You are yeah. tightening your own muscles out. You're yeah. tightening your arms out, and you're not doing any good. Go oh, look at that. Arm triangle. Arm triangle so. Transitions to mount. We've seen one brave gym finish from Zulkar the mount. Zulkar needs to be a little low on the shoulder because... And he needs to... Get out of that top mount position if he wants to finish that arm triangle. Right now, Zulkarnay needs to be a little lower on the shoulder and put his head down on the mat. And then if he wants to step out to the side, he can do that. Because right now, right now, Sanaullah is not feeling the pressure on the trachea. Ladies and gentlemen, when you, when we, in, in mixed martial arts or in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, when we choke someone out, we do not intend to make them stop the breathing. We intend to cut off the blood supply from the heart to the carotid arteries, and that is exactly why and how people get choked. I'm so glad I have you here. <laughs> <laughs> what artery, what? <laughs> but Zulkarnan here, <laughs> on top of Sanaullah, he's trying to finish him with punches and a submission. I'll keep it simple for the layman. Alumi, my man, is doing the great job at explaining all of the details. Zulkarnan here in top mount throws these shots Good shots here. It's a good advantageous position for Zulkarnan. But if I'm Zulkarnan, a decorated boxer, a budding kickboxer, I might as well just let it stand up. But I can understand why he doesn't want to do that. Zulkarnan is still trying. Zulkarnan is still, well, he, Oh, right. Okay, so he abandoned the uh, arm triangle. But I can see that he still wants to go. Oh, look at that. Good ground and pound. Nice posturing. Then again, tries to control Sanaullah. Sanaullah does not know. He seems to have no idea. Uh, maybe he's still faced with the punch, but I, because, but, but he seems to uh, have recovered because, as you can see, that he's, he's making effort. Maybe that is the subconscious that's kicking in because for every fighter, it's the subconscious that kicks in once you are out of that zone. Fam Zulkarnan, I, I'm, 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 control I'm, of the I'm very happy with how this fight is going. Zulkarnan is not credited much with a grappling background, but look at him go here. Samaullah taking some hard strikes. Zulkarnan doing Zulkanen a good job. Raining it down on Sanaullah. Sanaullah is not doing a smart job. He's not defending himself smartly. 15 seconds left on the clock here. You're gonna hear. Once again, I think this time mark. he's in the right place. This time he's in, but he needs to be a little lower on the shoulder. Sanaullah survived, it. but he's taken a lot of damage. So survived. Referee Ali was soft. All right, Referee Ali Ahmed was taking a really close look to that Daniel, but. As you say, saved by the bell. Indeed, saved by the well bell. Zulkarnan now back in his corner. Coach Umar Ahmed again, the man behind ARY Warriors and behind Rave Jim, giving corner advice to Zulkarnan. Zulkarnan and Umar Ahmed have a beautiful relationship. True. He is his main sparring partner. Look at how similar they are in terms of their, uh -huh. you know, dimension. This is who he trains with all the time, Zulkarnan. Ten seconds, Mark. Coach Umar Ahmed have been. has coached. Him. I am surprised and I am I am amazed that Zulkarnan did not take the stool. No corner man stepped in. Nobody stepped wow. in. No rest for Zulkarnan. <laughs> so that was a 10-8 round. That was a clear 10-8 round, in my opinion, for, for Zulkarnan. Oh, there we go. I wouldn't score that 10-8, but I completely understand it was a one-sided round. Beautiful end. Entry by Zulkarnan. Now, Sun Allah is going to throw strikes. That's what he wants to do. He wants to stand and box with him, primarily a boxing background. Zulkarnan is going to be boxing, boxing by Zulkarnan right here. This is what we want to see here a good boxing fight between two boxers. Oh, oh look at that. He the seems to have hurt him. The faints. Umar Ahmed is jumping because this is what he does most. 
Fiend step in, enters just Beautiful like that. Beautiful right hand by Hazel Carnan. Oh, good He's leg mixing kick. It up really oh, that's well. hurt him twice. That hurt him. That has oh, hurt his leg. God. Oh, good front nice kick there, side kick. That was a side kick. My Beautiful side kick. And then again, I think he's going to go for takedown again. Oh, you can't get... You can't that get is a, that is a nice guillotine, an arm in guillotine. Oh, my God. But I'm sure Zulkarnan knows how to... Oh, and he's doing a really good job by putting his head on the mat and defending it. Oh, that seems to be tight. tight that seems to be tight. Zulkarnan's hand is stuck in there. Guillotine. But no, Zulkarnan oh, muscles that. it all. Yes, Very man. nice. Oh, the heart. Sheer will and determination, my friend. Beautiful all display of now. strength. Beautiful display of strength and technique and heart. He's not going to get choked out in his own event. He's not going to get choked out in, in the event where he is supposed to be the star. He is the star. You can hear the fans chant for uh, Zulkar Nain. He's in his hometown, Lahore. This is an excellent, excellent fight. Son Allah has brought the fight. Red Dragon Kueta, stand up. Son Allah looking at his corner, hoping for some instructions. I'm sure the corner has given him some really good instructions, but... Oh, that is a give up. That is a tap out. Up, and that is a tap out. He tapped out and he is done. Referee Ali Ahmed has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 46 seconds of the very second round, declaring the winner via corner stoppage, Zulkarnan! Crowd support. आपके लिए इधर बहुत ज़्यादा है. कैसा महसूस हो रहा है अभी? मुझे बहुत excited feel कर रहा हूँ मैं. Especially मैं शुक्रिया दा करूँगा खास शुरू उमर भाई का इधर और AR भाई का जिन्होंने हमें ये live जो हमसे broadcasting दी और जो third world के जितने boys हैं जो मेरे लिए शोर मचा रहे थे. That's good. Coach Zulkarnain, आप उन लोग के coach हैं and you're an inspiration for us. आप क्या चाहते हैं अपने एमएमए करियर में नेक्स्ट क्या हो आपके लिए देखिए हम तो आगे खेलना चाहते हैं इस इस इवेंट से इंटरनेशनली वो आगे जाते हैं मैं चाहता हूं कि सारी दुनिया से वो फाइटर जो हैं वो यहां पाकिस्तान में आए और एआरवाई के प्लेटफॉर्म से और तो आगे और आगे जाइए कोच अमेजिंग अमेजिंग परफॉर्मेंस एक्सलेंट वर्ड्स आप कुछ और कहना चाहेंगे अभी थैंक यू वेरी मच सबका बहुत शुक्रिया Zulkarnain Heather, ladies and gentlemen. And ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors lightweight division. Please welcome first to the cage, Heather. Ali! So, my name is Heather Ali. My name is Sawad Utrar. Four-time national wushu champion round. Kickboxing national champion round two times. You will see me in the Rev League. Inshallah, I will win. Heather Ali is one of the top prospects of Wushu in Pakistan. Heather has multiple Wushu fights. He has so many medals that I even count, like lost my count. You can see how excited I am. This is one for taking because this fight is going to be so special. I have watched him fight. I've watched his striking. He's an elite level striker. I have seen him grapple in grappling tournaments. He is so explosive. He has amazing energy. He brings an amazing aura and energy. Right now, we can see this guy has matured a lot from the last time that I had seen him. But this guy is dangerous. This guy has amazing flashy kicks. He has multiple, multiple weapons in his arsenal. You never know what's coming when you're fighting Heather Ali. One of the best fights of the night. Heather Ali. Versus Rizwan Khan. Please welcome to the ring, Rizwan Khan! My name is...
इज मोहम्मद रिजवान खान और अफजई एंड आई एम फ्रॉम कराची आई विल बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग के सेवन फिटनेस एंड किक बॉक्सिंग अकेडमी एक डेढ़ महीने से इसकी प्रिपरेशन कर रहा हूँ इन शाला मजा आने वाला है He is a K7 top prospect. He is one of the best kickboxers that I've ever seen in Pakistan. This guy has such amazing kickboxing. Just like Haider Ali. This guy has some amazing weapons in his arsenal. I saw him fight last time. His last fight was so amazing against a grappler who wanted to take him down. Who got in who closed the distance on him without any hesitance he hip tossed him into a beautiful judo throw and landed him on his back and showed that he is a complete mixed martial artist from spinning kicks to side kicks to drop kicks to beautiful straight punch combinations or getting at angles as you can see abdullah chandio and hazik chandio the chandio brothers in his corner Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is three rounds of action in the ARY Warriors lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he stands five feet seven inches tall, weighed in at seventy kilos even, holding an MMA record of three wins, one loss, no draw. Fighting out of Sabat and representing RFC. This is Hader Ali. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands. Five feet eight inches tall, weighed in at 71 kilos, holds an undefeated MMA record of two wins, no losses. Fighting out of Karachi and representing K7 Kickboxing Academy, Slow Poison Rizwan. I, I cannot wait for this. I this love you more, brother. This fight is crazy. Leg kick. Starts with a leg kick. Starts with a low kick. This is a four-time national kickboxing oh, champion. Oh, beautiful overhand right hand. Oh, no. As I was saying, a spinning kick. This is a wushu prodigy versus a Kyokushin prodigy. But when beautiful I, work. When I first saw this one Khan or Akzai, it was Sarai fight night. It was in Islamabad inside the Amir Khan boxing hall. And since then, I saw a remarkable difference in terms of quality between him and a lot of the other fighters. Hader Ali is undoubtedly one of the best strikers in this country. True. Is one employing the the strategy I expected him to employ: grapple the striker, and that is why Rizwan Khan is undefeated, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel, as I mentioned, when you were in the ring, I was mentioning to the audience that these two guys are one of the most elitist level strikers in the country. Both of these guys have unlimited weapons in their arsenal, and you saw that when when Hader Ali threw that spinning kick. Beautiful transition, beautiful transition. Nice guard pass and into mount by Rizwan. Hader Ali is trying to frame on the hips of Rizwan. Fight clock brought to you by On the Mic. This is a five-minute fight, ladies and gentlemen. Rizwan Khan, top mount, top mount right now. Pardon me. Hader Ali looking up at the lights. This is not the position he wants to be in right now. Rizwan Khan, though, there's a reason they call him. Low poison. It's because he's slow but deadly. He cuts you apart piece by piece. Does not rush the finish. That is exactly why I call this man's nickname the best in the business. Good Head. guard recovery by Ali Hader, by the way. He Hader. did not let Rizwan. But there is no. Oh, there oh. we go. Right over the side. There is no exchange in striking on the ground. Rizwan throws a beautiful right hand. Hader Ali should look to try to shrimp and you know move away. 
as opposed to but trying to throw strikes from the bottom. Daniel, it's not as easy to win. Oh, beautiful oh. crucifix position, I think. Oh, it's definitely not oh, easy, especially man. when you have someone like Rizwan Exactly. Khan. He has oh, relentless please. pressure with someone as, again, he's trying to go for that arm triangle. Like, he's in a really good position. Beautiful switch. Oh, he ends up in the guard. Look and at that. had he, I would say, windshield wipered out of that into the other side, he would have easily got the submission. I really believe, Daniel, as I was saying, that the overhand right landed by it, the slow poison, it really affected oh, Heather yeah. Lee's confidence. Oh, yeah. Which is why Heather wanted to go with that spinning back kick, I'm sorry, the spinning wheel kick. And he wanted to assert dominance. He wanted to get back into that confidence zone. But this one, oh, it's going for a leg lock. Oh, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Heel hook city. Oh, oh Heather Lee escapes. Good. Heather Lee rolls in the right oh, direction. Oh, oh, the last big shot. The last big shot. Oh, oh, my goodness. He hurt. Oh, it's a nice guillotine. That oh is my tight. Goodness. Oh, that's the one-arm guillotine in there. Strikes, Lumi. Three wow. Strikes. Most trouble I've ever seen is Khan. Oh, my goodness. And once goodness. again, hit by Heather Ali. Another heel hook. He tries to go for the leg. Another heel hook. What a fight this has been already. He's trying oh to yank God. one. He needs to twist. Oh. He needs to pull it. Look at Heather's it. knee. Oh, this is this is bad for Heather Ali. Heather Ali. Heather's knee is still... What oh, Rizwan look at that. Rizwan needs to keep it tight. Oh. You see, this is what happens. The crowd is getting into this. Heather Ali. Heather seems to have not hurt. quitting. Rizwan Khan. He seems to have hurt him. Rizwan. But Rizwan is keeping on. He's staying relentless. Going in for the takedown. He's going belly down. Shooting in again. Takedowns. Both these guys have. They, these guys have put in a lot of effort. Oh my god. What an amazing first round. This has already been. The grappling exchanges by Rizwan. The strikes, the Hail Mary strikes. And now they're fighting. Oh, that's a down opponent. That is a down opponent. Referee is not a win. Referee stops it. Oh, that is not a win. That is not a that win. Is not a that win. is not a win. That he is not a win. He kicked the down opponent. That he kicked the down opponent. Referee, Heather Ali thought this was a win. Oh, no, 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 no. They, they, that's how the... Referee knows. That is an illegal blow. As clear as day, kicked him square in the jaw. Doctors are checking the vision of Rizwan Khan. They want, they, they, they're watching. We need to, ladies and gentlemen, oh, please God, remember. Oh, the doctor stoppage. Oh, no. There's a doctor stoppage. That is a that doctor stoppage, ladies and gentlemen. That is Rizwan one of the most Khan unfortunate He cannot events. see out of his right eye. This fight has stopped at 3 minutes, 50 seconds of the first round. And it has been declared a no contest. I'm here with Rizwan. 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 I'm here to. I'm here to talk. you a show and we did promise you some fights this is ary warriors <laughs> this next bout is three rounds of action in the ary warriors bantamweight division please welcome first to the cage amanullah मेमन है और मैं टीम रुशीमान फाइटर्स एंड से मेरा तालु कराची से अभी तक मैं टीम वर्ल्ड चैंपियनशिप खेल चुका हूँ केसीएफ सीजन टू का टाइटल चैंपियन हूँ जेब एमएमए में पार्टिसिपेट कर रहा हूँ जेन जेलमैन अमानुल्ला गोस with the name of Boulder. I don't know why he kept that nickname. Maybe, you know, a lot of people who go to the gym and who lift weights, they call themselves the shoulder boulder. Maybe it's because of that. Maybe his shoulders don't get tired. But this guy is going to fight Atif Khan.
and his opponent, please welcome to the cage, Abdiz Khan! My name is Mohamed Atif Khan, I'm from the UFC. UFC में करूं, UFC C का champion बनूं, अपने मुल्क और फोन का नाम पूरी दुनिया में रोशन करूं। यारा मेरे अपने को ये पेगाम है कि इंशाल्लाह see you in the cage and इंशाल्लाह I will knock you out. Walking out to Red Hot Chili Peppers, another fan favorite. The favorite of the crowd. You can see the support behind him. It is literally deafening in here, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot hear myself. Uh, these people are going crazy for Adip Khan. Adip Khan is one of the golden boys of Grape Gym as well. Adip Khan calls himself the golden boy. Reason being, this kid is a golden boy. All smiles by Adip Khan, as you guys can see, ladies and gentlemen. Staying nice, calm, and relaxed. Atif Khan enters the cage, slams the cage and makes the entry. Giving a thumbs up. Bantamweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, five inches tall. Weighed in at 60 kilos even. Holding an MMA record of three wins, three losses. Fighting out of Karachi and representing Fighters Den, this is Amanullah Bolden! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, he stands five feet, nine inches tall. He weighed in at 61 kilos, holding an MMA record of three wins, one losses, fighting out of Mengora and representing Brave Jim. This is the Golden Boy, Atif The hype behind Atif Khan is real, ladies and gentlemen. I can hear chants of Atif, Atif right behind me. And they are loud. When he took Atif's name, everyone was screaming at the top of their lungs. When Daniel was announcing Atif's name, people went crazy. Here we go. Atif Khan and Amanullah touch gloves. Leg kick immediately opens up. Amanullah Atif instantly Khan. goes for that shoot. Amanullah. Atif a very decorated grappler, they're right on top of the on the mic sign. Atif is now fostered in. Atif is trying to go for a judo throw, but... Oh, it looks like somebody's mouthpiece fell out. Oh, no, it wasn't a mouthpiece. That was something else. That's, that's worrying. Atif now up against the cage in the clinch. Atif doing Amanullah. a really good job defending that takedown. Atif has a win over Amanullah. That is why I was telling uh, the audience, Daniel, that Atif already comes in with with, with the confidence of having a win over Amanullah, and he's going to use that confidence to his advantage today. He knows what it feels to fight Amanullah. Amanullah knows how it feels to fight Atif, and um, that's why we didn't see a feeling out process. Exactly. The feeling out process is when you know fighters have to kind of you know shuck in. Oh, beautiful left oh. on the exit that drops Amanullah while he's Amanullah looks lead. like he's a little hurt, Alumi. This crowd is deafening. Nice body kick there, Atif Khan. Coming out of a southpaw stance, Amanullah. Uh, sorry, Atif Khan throws oh. another kick. He knows he has to keep that range and he has to hunt Amanullah. Amanullah, on the other hand, knows that he has to close that distance and do not get caught by shots. And close the distance, take Atif down. Big overhand swing by Amanullah. Chance of Golden Boy rings nice. throughout the arena. Beautiful punch oh my the God. Uh, Amanullah with a nice shot of his own. He's trying to go for a jumping jump. Jumping jump jump guillotine and gets. Oh, nice strike. Atif Khan has had him in a world of trouble from the start of the fight, and he continues to do so. 
Khan As oh. simply said, he is not on my level at the weigh-ins. Those oh, are telling wow. words. He has hurt him. He has hurt him. Has hurt. He's hurt him. Amanullah has really hurt. He has hurt him. Oh, one twos and a kick. That wushu striking. Atif Khan is pouring it on. Knees to the head. Amanullah is rock, ladies he and gentlemen. Is charging forward like a raging bull into Amanullah Boulder. Oh, these are hard strikes. Referee Ali Ahmed taking a very close look at this. Oh, oh that's a body kick. That's all for you. That is all for you. No body kick. That's a fight. There is no doubt left this the time. The golden boy gets it done. What a win for Atif Khan. Referee Ali Ahmed has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. The Golden Boy, Atif Khan! Alhamdulillah, I've done my camp very well with Umar Bai and in Brio Gym. I'm very thankful to my coaches and all the Brio Gym fighters who helped me a lot. I'm very thankful to Umar Bai, AOI News, and Salman Iqbal, who gave us the opportunity to train here. My father didn't support me, so this is the first time he came here and supporting me in my fight. I'm very happy. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Atif Khan! It is now time for your main event of the evening. Please welcome first to the cage, fighting out of Red Dragon Quetta. Please make some noise for Kutratullah Khan! My name is Kutratullah. I belong to Quetta Red Dragon Sports Academy. My fight is H2, H5, KG. के लिए काफी अच्छी तैयारी हो चुकी है और इंशाल्लाह हम ये फाइट जरूर जीतेंगे Nobody wanted to fight Najam Khan but this man stepped up there must be something really special about this guy this guy is really confident in his hands this guy is really confident in himself as a fighter. Najam Khan's a big name, but Kudratullah stepped up and took the fight against Najam Khan. This is the heart of a warrior. This is exactly what we need to see on this platform. Ladies and gentlemen, since this is the main event of the evening, this is going to be five five-minute rounds. And this one, I believe, is going to end pretty soon. Because both these guys I have good knockout power in the hand. It's a professional bout, main event of the night. Five five minute rounds. These guys are gonna go at it. These guys are gonna go hammers and tons at it. Please make some noise for Najam This is Najam the Brave Khan. I have a lot of support from Islamabad team fight for Tristan and fighting. I have played six international matches. After six international fights, my debut in Brave was my debut. They call him the knockout artist. They call him the powerhouse. When no one stood to fight him, there was no one in the country that wanted to fight him. He is a Kyokushin black belt, multiple times Kyokushin champion, national champion. He is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu blue belt, and he is the brave Najam Khan. A lot of people give up on their dreams. A lot of people make excuses to not work out, but this guy, with a short leg. He showed the world that nothing will stop you if you want to do it. And this guy is doing it.
The fighters have entered. The judges are ready. Referee Ali Ahmed is ready. This is the final Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, waiting at 82 kilos. Holds an MMA record of two wins, one loss. Fighting out of Quetta and representing Red Dragon. Good luck. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighted at 81.5 kilos. He holds an MMA record of five wins, one loss, fighting out of Islamabad, Pakistan, and representing Team Five Fortress. He is the greatest knockout artist in Pakistan's history. He is Najam the Brave Everybody is rooting for Najam Khan in here. And I'm not surprised. This was crazy. The energy that Daniel showed up there is intense. And I repeat, nobody, <laughs> nobody does it like this guy. I love you. That was the greatest moment, single moment of my life. Najam Khan screaming back at me. I have never been that happy and that scared both at the same time. Najam roaring back to you. And we are underway. Time clock brought to you by On The Mic. I love you. Thank These you. guys. Taking it really slow. Star in the center of the ring. Najam in the red tape, Kudratullah in the blue tape. Both fighters hesitant. Najam says, let's go, champ. Najam Khan talking to his opponent. Najam Khan is the guy who does not get scared of anything. I was mentioning to the people watching, Daniel, Najam has one short leg, but he never let it get to him. Never. never let it become a hurdle, an obstacle in front of him. That is what grit and determination is all about. I mean, Najam needs to make sure he doesn't expand any energy here. Oh! That side kick. kick. I'm sure Kudratullah felt it because I can feel that Kudratullah is pushing backwards. He's on his heels. He's constantly moving back. He's barely throwing anything. And Najam is waiting for Kudrat to throw something. Najam Khan with a nice jab. He's our knockout artist, Pakistan's number one knockout artist with an inspirational story and he's trying to chase for his head. Wow, Najam Khan in the flesh, ladies and gentlemen, in front of us. Red tape for Najam, blue for Kudratullah, in case you needed reminding, which you don't. Najam Khan tentative, but this is a five-round affair, ladies and gentlemen. Five long, hard rounds. What a leg kick there, you heard hard that. Outside leg kick by Najam Khan. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the deal. When two fighters are not fighting actively at a high pace, that means they're feeling each other out. They need to see that what the other person has to offer. One or two shots that they throw actually gives them the idea of how strong or how powerful the other, their opponent is. And Najam Khan showing that to Kudatullah right now. Kudatullah threw, threw one punch at Najam where he earned Najam's respect and now Najam is resorting to kicks. Najam Khan comes from, I believe, a Kyokushin background if I'm not wrong. He is a Kyokushin black belt and he's a multiple times Kyokushin national champion. There we go. Pakistan, oh. one knockout artist. Poetry, uh, poetry in motion, ladies and gentlemen. He is leg kicking him to oblivion. Najam Khan is a Allah just shook his leg off. Kudratullah just, just showed that his leg hurts. His leg is red. And, and I, I believe that we're going to see a knockout by leg kick. Oh, we can definitely see it. Najam, Najam Khan anything but leg has never let his disability stop him. He has used it as a and weapon. Another one. And you can see no, him. That's oh, that's it. That is it. That is it. 
Four leg kick! Put the hands on the head! Four! Has sealed the deal! My God! Not them the brave Oh God. my God! Stan! Not Jam Khan has done it! Najam Khan has defeated Kodratullah in the main event of ARY Warriors. Kodratullah cannot believe what just happened. Najam with four billion leg kicks. All of the power in the world. Wow! I also want to give a special thanks to ARY for providing us with this platform. To Salman Iqbal for being the visionary behind ARY Warriors. And in the end, I would like to thank Brave Jim, the team that made it all happen, especially Omar Ahmed, the force behind ARY Warriors. This fight has come to a stop at 2 minutes 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner via verbal submission, Nachum the Brave Khan! Leg kicks. Ye game plan tha tebe. No, bro. Game plan mein kabi use nahi kiya. Me game plan mein the ring ke andar. This is my game plan, bro. What is next for you, Nachum bhai? Ab kya karna chahte itni badi win ke baad? Yeah, inshallah, my goal is that I will show the name of the world level. My goal will be to get the same knockouts on the world level, inshallah. Good night! Thank you so much!